if only. Don't worry, this banana bread is not for me, it's for Dave. I made a batch this morning for him uh, before I'm gonna sit down with Holly, uh, which we'll do in a few minutes. As you can see, I am in new surroundings. This is my new house. So I'm gonna take you on a quick tour before I sit down with Holly to discuss the next two weeks because we're down to the wire now and I need to lose a few more pounds. So uh, no joke. So let's go check it out. So this is the hallway that leads to the front of the house. This is going to be our main living room, the formal living room, I guess you would call. As you can see, there's a lot of work to be done. We've still got boxes going on. Um, and Dave and I are planning to finish painting this room this weekend, so it's got to get done. More work to be done in the hallway here. As you can see, Dave is hard at work, taping things down and getting ready. Um, and then over into our guest bedroom. Um, we're still sorting out some colors in here and still need to paint and uh, hopefully get this construction paper off the floor soon. Come on in. If you keep going, this like leads into, there's the main area over here and then this is our master bedroom, which is one of my favorite rooms in the house. There's just so much natural light that comes in here and I think that's so important um, just to get that regular sunlight. Um, waking up like this in the morning is really great. So yeah, as you can see, this is part of the house that's already done, but there's still so much work to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, we have the time to do it. I think uh, life changes that have happened recently has allowed me for more time to focus on the house and the wedding. Um, I was recently laid off from my job. It was, you know, kind of a shocker, kind of knew it was coming. Um, but I think it's, it's all a good thing. I, you know, I have the time now to really figure out what I want to do and see what direction I'm going in and, you know, all these changes are all happening at once so I can refocus, recharge, um, and just have the time to do that uh, now. So I'm confident that uh, it's, all, it's all great and, like, it's giving me time to work out more, uh, which has been great to, like, refocus and recharge my energy. Um, you know, and I'm determined to, to get to a good place, so. Now, losing weight is no easy feat. Um, that in itself is a huge challenge, but for Diane, she's had, you know, all these things that she just mentioned. She's in a brand new house that needs a lot of work. She was planning a wedding, and she was recently laid off, and, you know, she kind of knew it was coming, but it came way earlier than planned, and that's a lot of stress, and it's really hard to lose weight when you're stressed. It actually kind of prevents your body from losing weight. Um, but I'm actually really, really proud of you for how well you've been doing. Thanks. Um, yeah, it's a lot to handle, but I think one of the benefits of health and exercise and um, working out is you learn to push yourself and you learn to get past challenges and to do things that are hard. And so I feel like I'm seeing in you not only physical strength improving, you know, muscles starting to show yeah. lines and things like that, but, um, you know, helping with just the ability to cope through some yeah. of this and deal with it mentally and emotionally. And it seems like you're doing really well yeah. um, and managing all the stress and you are still getting in your workouts and using your yeah, time well. Yeah, it's definitely helping me be in a better headspace about it. You know, I think it's, you know, three of life's biggest things have hit me all in the, the span of two or three months. So, um, well, more than that, but you know, it's all culminating in that in that time period. But, you know, the, the working out, our workouts, and then now I've been able to get in some more runs in the morning um, before I'm getting my day started. And there's, you know, and I've, I just feel like I'm in a good headspace to like, I feel like this is a positive thing and um, it it will turn out the way it needs to. Yes. It's going to. It definitely yeah. will. Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, mm -hmm. let's take your measurements. Okay. And get your weight and see what the current status is. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Hop on. Here we go. That's not bad, it's a little over 147. Your weight is at least coming down now. We're past that 150 barrier. You broke your plateau. I know. It is still a few pounds away. We gotta hustle to get down to 144, but 
yeah. at least at least we know you're continuing to go down. Yeah. I'm I'm happy about I'm happy about it. I just you know it's just yeah. you know frustrating when it, it was going down so fast and then now it's like one pound. One pound. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. All right, so we've got about three more pounds to get to your goal weight, yeah. right? Two weeks to go. So it's it's doable. Yeah. They're gonna have to push a little bit. So one of the things is just gonna be changing your diet, dropping your calories again, and then lowering your carbs, right? right. So I know Pro Train was gonna send you more meals. Yeah. This time they're lower carb, right? Oh. So yeah, so there's a lot less carbs in these okay. ones. So it's more protein and vegetables. Okay. So that's gonna help you drop your weight a little bit yeah. faster. So, did you get those? Yes, Do you have they them? came yesterday. Okay. Uh, so we Ooh. have... Ahi with cucumbers, yum. Yeah. I had the ahi with the mushrooms yesterday. It was really delicious. Um, yeah, sounds good. But we have the herb marinated tilapia. This one I froze overnight. Um, Braised beef. The scrambled eggs with mushroom. Oh, nice. It's yummy. So that's really good, yeah, because it's just basically a bed of yeah. spinach, right? So yeah. lots of um, protein and veggies. I'm excited about the chicken enchilada. I'm not gonna lie, I'm <laughs> excited about that one. And then we have the spinach salad, which I've had before. It was really delicious. Nice, yeah. you look good. Yeah, so then you've got on here, you know, your exact calories. So yeah. please enter these in to okay. your MyFitnessPal. Yeah, so it I actually think... worked with MyFitnessPal. I scanned oh, you it just before scan it. and it just like popped right in. Perfect. It's great. So um, yeah, most of these I think are under 300 calories. Okay. So it's gonna help you with portion control for okay. sure. And then, um, you know, as you can see, it's got the protein and carbs and fat. So this has only got 12 grams of carbs, carbs. and 39 protein. Like, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. So these will definitely help. Um, you know, like I said last time, carbohydrates are not the enemy. There's nothing wrong with brown rice or sweet potatoes or healthy carbs right. like that. But when you're really trying to cut down weight fast, carbohydrates, you know, partially your body's gonna retain more water when you're eating more carbs. So it'll just help you drop weight a little bit okay. faster by cutting down the calories okay. um, carbohydrates. We're featuring this week's giveaway in the middle of the episode this time since we just featured the Pro Train meals with Diane. You can enter to win $50 gift card to ProTrainF3.com and to get meals like these, which are very healthy, very clean, natural ingredients. And all of the boxes have the calorie content on there, the macronutrients, and as Diane said, you can scan it into MyFitnessPal. So you can guarantee you're getting quick, easy, healthy meals that will help you reach your weight loss goals. To enter to win, all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is ProSource Fit Brand, and leave a helpful diet comment on this video. Something that's maybe helped you lose weight that you can give a piece of advice to Diane. All right, so I want to sit down before we go ahead out to work out today yeah. um, and just talk a little bit more seriously about the next couple weeks because again, yeah. you're you know two weeks away. We're down in the wire. So yes, yeah. so it's really important now to dial in your nutrition, really get serious about workouts. Yeah and do every little thing you can to drop these last few pounds, right? right? Um, and you know, once you get a little bit further along in the process, there are some kind of little tweaks and tricks and things that you can do to kind of drop weight a little bit faster. Okay. So, um, but I wanna kind of get your opinion because you're the one in charge of yourself in this weight loss right. thing right now. So you're three, three, three and a half pounds away from your goal. Mm -hmm. What do you think that you can be doing in these next two weeks to get down to 144 to reach your goal weight in time for your wedding. Okay. So I think that diet is going to be, it's going to play such an important role in the next couple of weeks. I have to stick to the low carb, higher protein. Um, and yeah, so reduce the amount of carb intake that I'm, I'm having. Um, right. Workouts are also gonna be important. Uh, the cardio, I think, is going to play a much more significant role. Okay, what about, like, with cardio, how much cardio? And what specifics? Um, I think I needed to be doing, like, three to four times a week. And then 
preferably a cardio or two before our workouts um, so that I can have the cardio and also the, the muscle training. Okay. Yeah. So outside of just the physical aspect of working out, what else do you think that you could be doing mentally um, in order to change and motivate yourself? I think it would be helpful to have a big calendar up and just like cross out the days That's as good you idea. get closer. Because I have a book, but like, you know, I have to open it. Whereas if I, it's on the wall, I can just see and you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I got like four or five days left. and. So I think that's that's helpful. It's definitely all good. You're in the right direction, the right mindset. I just want to get a lot more specific with things. So with two weeks leading up, I just want to give you and everyone watching some good kind of last minute weight loss tips, all right? So when it comes to cardio, I do want you to do more than three to four days per week, okay? I want you doing five to six days of cardio oh, okay. per week, all right? And I wanted it at least 40 minutes. You can go beyond that, but I want at least 40 minutes. Okay. How I want you to split it up is do about two or three days of just kind of a steady state cardio. So 40 minutes maybe on a bike or going for a run or a swim or something like that where you've got your heart rate up pretty high the whole time. Um, maybe, I mean moderate, not crazy high where you can't speak or anything like that, but at a good intensity where you feel your heart pumping. The other days I want you to do high intensity interval training. So this could be 20 minutes of cardio. But what you're doing is maybe a minute of kind of low intensity. So say you're running, low intensity jog for about a minute, all out sprint for 30 seconds, all out effort. Not just hard, you really have to put in every little ounce of effort you have for about 30 seconds. Then you drop back down for a minute, kind of jog, sprint for another 30 seconds. And you just repeat that for about 20 minutes. Okay. You can do that with plyometrics, you can do that with a spin bike, you can do that almost anywhere. Stair stepper, um, you can, get creative with it you know things like we've done at the gym tire slams and ball slams and things like that okay. but super high intensity for 30 seconds and then go back down for a minute okay. so I want you to mix up those two types of cardio it's really gonna get your fat burn going so I want you to do that and like you said on some days that's gonna also fall before our workouts and that's fine you're gonna be basically doing almost like two a days okay but it's only two weeks out not a big deal put in a whole lot of effort and time right now okay, okay? And then I want you to do weights three to four days a week, ideally four. So we've already do, we're already doing two. I want you to do another two on your okay. own. So again, high intensity, push yourself. Your muscle should be failing at the end of each exercise. Okay. It shouldn't be easy for you to finish you know, 15, 12 reps of something. So push yourself, hit every muscle group. Um, it should take at least probably 30 minutes to get that in. Okay? okay. So I want you doing weights slash resistance bands, going to the gym, something. Okay. Uh, making sure you're hitting your legs, your chest, your back, your shoulders, biceps, triceps, everything, okay? All right, um, and then I want you to cut out sugar, processed foods, alcohol, um, anything, yeah, anything that, you know, high calorie, just bad for you, anything, you know, process, your body's not gonna handle well, I wanna get rid of the alcohol. Again, you're two weeks out, you can cut it for a couple yeah. weeks, not a big deal. Yeah. Um, sugar, high sodium, salty foods, get rid of those. So things like the meals that you got, just stick with vegetables, protein, high quality fat. So you got like avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, things like that. You can do lots of healthy fats to make up for those carbohydrates that you're taking out of your um, meals now. So just add in some healthy fats, that'll help keep you full. Then when you get about a week out from the wedding, there's some kind of other little things you can do to just drop mostly water weight. Okay. It's not really gonna be a whole lot of fat loss at that point. You okay. can, um, cause I want you to be burning about 500 calories at least during all these workouts. Okay. Right, so that's gonna put you at almost a pound in a week. Okay. So a little bit tough, you gotta put in some time and effort, but it's doable. Okay. Um, then after that, what you can do is things like hot yoga. Go sweat it out, go sit in a sauna and start to cut sodium start to do sweaty activities like hot yoga and sauna. Um, cut, then we'll cut down your calories just a little bit more there right at the end. Drink tons of water, okay. like a gallon a day, okay. more if you want to. Okay. And then right before, just a couple days leading up to your wedding, you just kind of drop down the amount of water you're drinking okay. um, just to kind of help de-bloat and you know, yeah. get rid of that so extra Don't want to water be bloated in my sleep. No, okay. So that's what I need you to commit to doing in these last couple weeks. All right. Intense. Okay. Okay. Got it. So let's go to a workout and we will kick you off with a high intensity workout at the beach. Okay.
So we're here at Santa Monica. I brought Diane down to the beach today, not only because it's a beautiful place to work out, but also because it's time we really increase the intensity of her workouts. And one really easy way to do that is just take it to the sand. There's nothing quite as difficult as working out on the sand. Even the most basic movements become a lot more challenging and really tax your cardio system. So we're gonna run through a little circuit today or a long circuit today. Um, and just really try and burn as many calories as possible. You use a lot of muscles um, and hopefully just kill it today. Kick your butt. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get started with the warm up. Okay. So I'm gonna have you start with side shuffles down and back. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Just keep going. Almost there, keep going. Now it's time for the workout. Okay. We're gonna start with Russian twist. We're gonna use this dumbbell. Sitting down on your butt, legs up in the air, leaning back about 45 degrees over to each side. Slow and controlled, come down as low as you can. Use those obliques. You're using your legs to pick up the ball, your core is really tight. You're going to squat down, pick up the ball, throw it as far as you can, jog over to it, or run over to it, grab it, the same thing. Keep going. So next one you're gonna do is tricep dips. Okay. So hands on the bench, right underneath your hips, legs out in front of you. Okay. Core tight, you're gonna come down to 90 degrees and press straight up. Down to 90, press straight up. Okay, 10 times. Step ups with dumbbells. Oh. All right. You grab these, foot on the bench. Make sure you press up through your heels. Make sure your foot's fully on the bench right there. Weights are just going to stay right by your side. Press up, balance with this leg, and right back down. Okay. Up again with the same leg. Okay. Ten on each side. It's really hot. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, put them down. Nice job. All right, back over onto the sand to the ball. Yeah, no high five. Yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> you got a high five at the end. All right, so back to the ball now. So you're just gonna squat down. Make sure you squat using your legs to lift it. Scoop it up into your arms. You're gonna hold it into your chest and you're just running. All right. I'll tell you when this up. Last exercise. You're gonna love this one, I'm sure. All right, so you're gonna come out of the ground. This is called a Spider-Man crawl. I believe that's the correct name for it. So on, kind of like a plank, you're gonna start on hands and toes, hands about shoulder width apart, and then you're bringing your left knee into your left elbow, up really close and kind of hunching down. Then crawl forward, right leg to right knee. Low to the ground. Okay, so try and stay really low the whole time, like Spider-Man crawling a ball. Almost there, keep going. Keep it up. Good job. It 
It's Monday morning. I was supposed to get up early this morning to go to my spin class, but uh, slept in a little bit too late. So I'm gonna have to do my own version of uh, spin class myself. Um, I'm not really too excited about it, only because it's a different energy in a spin class where they keep you motivated and push you all the way through. So I'm gonna have to dig deep to get that energy and really push it um, and get this 45 minute cardio in. It's Tuesday today, I am meeting with Holly later tonight for our workout, but I wanted to get some cardio in before I meet with her tonight. So, and because I love cardio so much, I'm going to split this session into two machines. I am going to do the Stairmaster and I'm gonna try out some rowing. So, here we go. On a Thursday morning, I'm gonna get my cardio in before the day gets going. Uh, 40, 45 minutes. I'm gonna work out here in the Santa Monica stairs. It's probably gonna kill me. Not really looking forward to it, but I gotta get it in. Until next time, stay fit, stay healthy, and stay happy.